Well, good morning from Bologna, Italy. Today, 10, 10 essential cell phone applications for traveling in Italy. Starting with number 10, Weatherbug. Now, Weatherbug is my very, very, very favorite uh, weather application on my cell phone. I've used everyone I can think can find, <laughs> you know. But Weatherbug works great. It's got a small footprint. And like all these applications I'm going to mention today, available for both uh, iOS, iPhone, or uh, Android. So uh, Weatherbug has hourly forecasts. It has 10-day uh, forecasts. It has maps, all the things you need to, uh, to find out what's going on with the weather where you are. And uh, I like it quite well. You know, we'd, I'm going to the market a little bit later today, walking across town. Well, I need to bring this uh, you know, winter coat with me here. Can I just go in shorts and shirt sleeves? And, you know, who knows? But, <laughs> but a weather bug will tell me a little bit later. Number nine, Amwell. Amwell is an application that allows you to talk to a doctor, uh, an English-speaking doctor, uh, for either for free or for a little bit of money, depending on uh, whether or not your insurance plan supports Amwell. Uh, Amwell is um, it's a great service. So you know, if you have an emergency, if you're hurt, if you if you've injured yourself, if you're having a, a crisis of some kind, a medical crisis, of course, go right, 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 directly to the emergency room here in uh, in uh, Italy. It's called the Pronto Scorso, and uh, in Italy, uh, people going to the emergency room are not turned away. The service is, is very inexpensive. In fact, it's, it's free most of the time. So nobody is turned away. It doesn't matter whether you're a, a citizen or not. It doesn't matter whether you're a resident or not. It doesn't matter if you're a visitor or an immigrant or a refugee. They will take you at the emergency room and they will not charge you. Amwell is, uh, you know, when you, it's not an emergency, but you really would like to talk to a doctor because something's not quite right. Maybe you need to, adjust your medication, maybe something's a little weird and you want to talk it over with a doctor, Amwell is for you. Now there are uh, many insurance companies that support Amwell and it's either free or really cheap. Uh, if not, um, you know, talk to your insurance company before you go and say, hey, what, uh, what telemedicine services do you support? Uh, number eight, my Vodafone. Now, if you uh, have been following my travel videos, you know I'm a fan of having a local SIM or eSIM uh, in my phone when I'm traveling. Uh, because uh, I, you know, it's cheap. <laughs> and here in Italy, my cell phone plan this year is uh, 14 euros a month. I get a ton of data. But to follow what's going on, I use my Vodafone. Now, there are a bunch of different phone companies in Italy, uh, but uh, I, I like Vodafone. Uh, number seven, Duolingo. Now, uh, you know, I started using Duolingo before I traveled. Before I started coming to Italy, I used Duolingo for a couple of years. And when I first got here, uh, did my Italian meet my needs? No, it didn't. But Duolingo is a free language learning tool, and it really helps to have some uh, some of the local language. Be able to say thank you. Where's the bathroom? Can I uh, can I have a uh, can I have a cornetto con crema? Can I uh, like a cappuccino per favore? You know how to say all the polite things and. Uh, and Duolingo is free. It it's, works really well. And if you're coming to Italy or going to any uh, country anywhere around the world that where a language is supported by Duolingo, I recommend you spend uh, some time on Duolingo to learn just at least the basics, the early easy phrases. Uh, number six, Airbnb. I travel uh, for you know longer than a lot of people, and I use Airbnb. Um, I like to have an apartment, I like to have a kitchen, I like to have a washing machine when I travel, and all of those things uh, you can find in Airbnbs. Not every Airbnb, but I use Airbnb all the time. Uh, number five uh, for me is a, uh, is a transportation app that I use all the time. Uh, I like to walk, but sometimes I need to get somewhere in a hurry, and I use a service called Ride Movie. Ride Movie is a, um, it's a, uh, a bicycle rental service where there are not any uh, any limitations on where you pick up a bike or very few limitations on where you leave a bike. Uh, they have both electric bikes and uh, non-electric bikes, three speeds and electric bikes. Uh, they uh, are in a bunch of Italian cities, especially in the north, and I've used it in Milano, I've used it in uh, Firenze, I've used it in Bologna. I think one or two other cities up here. But basically, you download the app, you uh, put a little bit of money on uh, using your credit card to, uh, to create a balance in Ride Movie. I usually try to keep, uh, you know, five or 10 euros in there. 
Most of the time, uh, when you ride a bike, pay about um, two euros an hour for an electric bike or one euro an hour for a uh, for a regular bike. It works well. It's easy to use, and uh, you know it, you can find ride mobies all over town. I've got another video coming up just about ride mobies, so stay tuned for that. Uh, number four, staying on the transportation uh, theme, taxi click easy. <laughs> now. I'm in Bologna, and uh, I don't use a lot of taxis. I uh, mostly walk or, or get a ride Moby, ride a bike, or sometimes take a bus. But um, Taxi Click Easy is a, uh, an application that allows you to call a cab or to schedule a cab. Now, something I learned about, uh, about travel from friends of mine uh, who travel almost as much as I do, uh, they uh, say that when they come to a new city, the first thing they do when they are trying to come to go to their Airbnb or their accommodation, uh, and it's you know ways away from the train station or the airport, that they go ahead and take a taxi that first time. Now in Italy, taxis are not super expensive if you're just going across town, and it's nice when you've come into uh, when you've come into a city and you're you've flown all night, you're kind of a zombie, to jump in a taxi and go. Uh, so taxis are different here in Italy than you may be used to. First of all, you don't, you don't flag one down. They don't stop for you. They, you don't flag one down. Uh, you have to call a taxi to your location. Now, if you don't speak Italian, that's a problem, <laughs> you know, because maybe the dispatcher doesn't speak English. So using, uh, using taxi apps like Taxi Click Easy, uh, they, you're able to schedule it, like I'm going to be leaving uh, Bologna in a couple of weeks, or less than a couple of weeks now, and I have an early morning flight. I will the night before reserve a taxi cab at a certain time in the morning to, uh, to come to my uh, apartment house here to pick me up and my, my luggage, which has gotten heavier <laughs> because of, of things I'm bringing home with me. So, uh, so Taxi Click Easy. Now, Taxi Click Easy is the, is the taxi cab app for Bologna. It, you know, and I know you're, you may not be in a Bologna. You may be in Rome, or you may be in uh, you may be in uh, in Parma, or you may be somewhere else. Who knows? So, uh, uh, what you do is look at the sides of taxi cabs. They're usually white in most cities. Look at the side of taxi cabs and look for an indication of the app used in that city. And there's probably a half a dozen different taxi apps. Um, uh, Taxi Click Easy works in Bologna and a few other cities, but you know there's uh, there's a bunch of different apps. So find the one for your city. If you don't know, uh, ask the host of your Airbnb or the uh, concierge at your hotel what app do you use for for getting taxis in the city. They'll tell you. Uh, number three, also in the transportation genre, is the Trenitalia app. Now Trenitalia is a national uh, train company. There are several train companies in uh, in Italy. Uh, some of them under the umbrella of Trenitalia and some not. Uh, there's another high-speed train service in Italy called Italo, Italo, and uh, I don't use it very much uh, for a couple reasons. One is that their uh, customer service is not as good. If you have a problem, if you miss a train, uh, they will charge you again. <laughs> you know, that's the way they work. Trenitalia, if you miss a train, you can often talk them into giving you a free ticket on the next train. So a uh, Trenitalia app, I buy my tickets on Trenitalia app. I, uh, I do, uh, I show my ticket on my phone to the, uh, to the capo de treno, the conductor, when uh, she or he comes by. I don't have to have paper tickets. I don't have to validate my tickets on the, uh, on the uh, Veloce trains. I just show them uh, my, the app and uh, they scan it with their iPad and off I go and everything's, everything's fine. Uh, it's a great app for trying to figure out what the alternatives are. And um, I do have a, a video just about using uh, trains in Italy, so it's linked up there somewhere. Uh, go ahead and grab it if you can. Number two is a, uh, an app that everybody should have on their phone when they're traveling, and that is Google Maps. Now, uh, Google Maps uh, is, uh, you know, there's, there's actually a bunch of different mapping programs around these days, uh, but Google Maps is the one I use when I'm traveling uh, for several reasons. Uh, one is that uh, it does have really good walking directions. It's, you know, step-by-step -step walking directions in the city. I do a lot of walking. It, uh, you can, if you're looking for something, you're looking for an ATM, for example, and I have a video about ATMs too, <laughs> but, uh, uh, if you're trying to, uh, trying to find somewhere, you're trying to find a certain thing, you can enter that in Google Maps. It'll tell you how to get there. 
The one thing that Google Maps doesn't do well, and, uh, and the other applications don't do great, is tell you where ZTLs are. ZTLs stand for a Zono Trafico Limitato, or Trafico Limitato Zona, depending on where you are in Italy. Uh, ZTLs are areas where if you are driving a car you, and you don't have the right permit for that area, you can't go into that area. My number one application uh, for, uh, for traveling Italy, and by the way, if you like this uh, content, if you like this content and you want more of it, please subscribe, please hit the like button, please hit the notify button. If there's something that you want to know more about, please leave a comment. Uh, it really, really, really helps me with uh, YouTube and uh, I'm enjoying making these videos and I want to make more of them. So my number one app that I use when I'm traveling Italy, the one I use a gazillion times a day is iTranslate. Now there are a lot of different translation programs around. I like iTranslate for a couple reasons. Uh, one is that there's an offline version you can get of it so that you can use iTranslate even when you don't have the internet, which is really nice. And uh, also uh, it has uh, verb conjugations. <laughs> And if you're trying to learn Italian like I am, uh, you know, the verbs, the, the conjugation of verbs are a little intimidating. Uh, I translate makes it easy, uh, and, uh, and I, I like the application very much. It's my favorite. I use it every day. Uh, you can scan menus with it with the, with the camera in your phone and find out, you know, it'll translate the words for you. You can scan a newspaper article that's in Italian and it'll translate it for you. So it's, uh, and you can speak into it and that helps a lot when you're on the street and you're, or in a store and you're trying to ask a specific question and you don't have the words or you're not pronouncing the words right. Uh, you go ahead and uh, and uh, use the microphone function and I translate and it translates and it speaks to your to the person you're trying to communicate with and then you flip it over to translate Italian to English hold the phone up to them and ask them to uh, speak into it and it works just works a treat so uh, yeah I translate my very very favorite translation app well that's it 10 essential apps for traveling Italy are there apps that you use that you think that uh, should be added to the list please leave a comment in the uh, in below here and uh, if you've uh, if you found other ones that work for you and uh, you know let me know how how this works for you I appreciate it I try to get feedback on these videos because they help me get better on the next one and uh, so that's the way it works for me well I'm off to the market this morning there's a market across town I'm gonna check weather bug to see if I need to bring this uh, this jacket with me and uh, I'm gonna go across town and uh, try to get some uh, some fish for dinner tonight at the market and some vegetables, maybe a little bit of cheese, maybe a bottle of wine. So yeah, street markets are fun. All right, well, from Bologna, from uh, my beautiful balcony here in uh, Via San Vitale, I hope that your day is good. And remember, try to be kind to people. Try to be kind to your, your fellow human beings. It makes the world a better place. Ciao.